Welcome to Homebrewing TV. This, uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, I have uh, been asked to respond to the frequently asked brewing questions. Uh, it's the thing that's been going around the YouTube and uh, Brian at uh, Short Circuited Brewers asked me to do it. So here you go, Brian. Uh, it was started originally by the uh, Tasting Niche. I'll put links to everybody uh, in, in the comments below. But um, So let's get this going. Uh, let's see, the first question is, how did you get into beer geeking and why beer? Um, to be honest with you, I didn't start uh, getting into all this thinking I was going to do beer. Uh, I went uh, and I, I, I originally went to start making wine. And I met up with a buddy that I was working with. Uh, Mike, you've seen him in several of the episodes, and I said, "Let's do some wine." And he goes, "Well, I've got a, I got a beer kit that my, my kids got me for, you know, Father's Day. You know, why don't we do beer?" And I went, "Well, all right, well, I guess we can try beer." So um, that was it, man. We made that first batch of beer. It was just an extract kit, um, and man, I just absolutely fell in love with the smells and the fact that the beer tasted so good. I, that was it. I was hooked, you know, and now all this has happened. What's your favorite beer? <laughs> That's a, that is a big question. Currently, we'll go with that route. Currently, my favorite beer is the uh, Whiskator uh, by the Wisconsin Brewing Company. Oh, uh, it is absolutely a delicious beer. It's got chocolate. It's got dark cherry, it's got a hint of cinnamon in it. It is just an absolutely delightful drinking experience. Um, so that's, that's the one I'm going to go with right now. I mean, that changes all the time for me. If you had one beer forever, what would it be? <laughs> how, how, how do you answer that? Um, if I had one beer, I would go with it's, it's a Augustiner Hellas clone that uh, I make with uh, my friend Andy. Um, that is just an absolutely phenomenal beer. It is so smooth. It is just, it's got hints of honey and, and silky on the, the uh, I, I need a moment. Anyway. So, probably that beer. If I could have that beer the rest of my life, I would be a happy, happy man. How can you drink so much, and how do you stay healthy? Well, I don't really drink a lot. I'll have one, sometimes two beers a day. Um, when I'm brewing, I'll probably have five or six, so I sometimes it gets a little sloppy, but... Um, I don't. I really don't think I have a lot of beer. I don't go crazy every day. Um, as for staying healthy, that's something I got to look into. It's since I started brewing. This is probably about four years now. I have probably put on a good 10, 15 pounds. And uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of people out there I've seen have managed to hit that mix of a good healthy lifestyle and beer. And I have to. I gotta get uh, get on that track because I'm not gonna give up beer. Love it too much, but I, I do have to take care of the take care of the little beer baby I got going here. Are you an alcoholic? I would say absolutely not. Uh, for you know, the main reason I think, well, I shouldn't say I think. I've never been an alcoholic, or at least in, in my mind, I've never been an alcoholic. For instance, right now I'm drinking water. Uh, why? Well, because I am recording this during the Lenten season. Uh, you know, being a Catholic, we, we give up something that we love for, for Lent, and I gave up beer, which would be another reason why I haven't had a lot on my channel. Um, 
but I haven't missed it. I mean, I got, I've got five kegs sitting out in my, in my garage, but it's not like I wake up and go, oh, I gotta have a beer. I don't. I mean, if I need a drink, I'll grab some water or whatever else we got in the fridge, but uh, I prefer beer. It tastes a hell of a lot better than, than water, but it's, I'm not drawn to it. Let's put it that way. What is your favorite ingredient? Well, besides hops, because hops is essential if you're going to make beer as far as I'm concerned. But um, my second favorite, or I guess favorite ingredient for any kind of dark beer is vanilla beans. I love the flavor of vanilla in a dark beer. I haven't figured out a way to put it into a, a, a light beer yet in color, um, but something maybe I'll think about. Do you brew? Well, yes, you know that. I've got a channel. I've, I brew all the time. Uh, what is your first beer? I would say my first beer was probably my first legally purchased beer, let's preface that, was probably a Miller Lite. I'm sorry, that's what it was. I didn't know any better, but yeah, Miller Lite. Who in the beer world do you look up to? I would probably say I look up to the original hosts of Brewing TV, Michael Dawson and Jake Keeler. They, uh, from watching that show, have taught me so much and inspired me to, to run my own channel. Uh, after they went away, uh, there was kind of a void for a while for me. You know, there was nothing else to watch. Uh, so I inspired me to start my own channel, which then inspired led me to find other brew tubers out there, which was great. So yeah, so thank you. Cheers, Michael Dawson, Jake Keeler. Thank you so much for starting this wonderful, wonderful journey for me. Now we're at the part where I am supposed to continue the frequently asked brewing questions. Uh, I will choose five other people. I'm going to go with Sammy the Thrifty, Thrifty Brewer. Sammy is uh, up in uh, Canada. And I watch his channel a lot. He does a lot of great uh, brew videos. Uh, he's built him has built himself a brew shed, which I'm thoroughly uh, jealous of. Um, so, Sammy, please continue this. I'd love to hear your responses. Um, the folks at uh, Basic Brewing, James Spencer and Steve Wilkes, one or both of you, please sit down. I I'd like to, to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I haven't heard from this guy in a while, uh, Matthew at Writer's Block Brewing. He has a channel, he does uh, brew videos and reviews, uh, I believe he's up in California. Uh, so Matthew, you're up. And Tom at New to Home Brew, uh, please enlighten us with your bit of wisdom on these questions. And the last one isn't necessarily a, a brew tuber or a brew, uh, a brew beer at all. I just know he's a brew, uh, a craft beer enthusiast. He's done a couple of uh, brew reviews on his U uh, YouTube channel. Um, I've given him some of my homebrew. And uh, so Jeff Messimer, check out his channel. Uh, he's uh, uh, a local guy that... Uh, I think uh, would be inter I'd, I'd be interested to find out his take on it, not being a brewer himself. So those are my guys. Um, there will be some more content coming now that the Lent season's uh, wrapping down. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, check out all these guys in the con con uh, comments below. Uh, I've got all the links to all their different places. Uh, if you feel up to it, please subscribe to them. If this is the first time here, please Give me a subscription. I'd love to have it. Uh, as always, though, until next time, keep brewing, my friends.